I believe you got manipulated or duped. If a tree shakes and somebody says, I'm not sure what's over there, it could be a monkey or it could be a lion, and someone else goes, oh, it's 100% a lion, then you look at that guy and go, you're retarded. And the guy will go, why am I retarded? Uh, you said it could be a monkey or a lion. I'm just saying it's 100% a lion. Of course, the level of confidence you assert a claim with is going to be used to criticize how confident you are about the claim. If somebody doesn't know and they say they don't know, but they're open to a possibility versus someone else saying, I know 100% with no evidence, of course you're going to make fun of the guy sp speaking with more uh, confidence without any evidence of it. Okay, so they even Muslims, even Muslims. How many died in the, in the Kuwait invasion? How many Kurdish people were killed with chemical weapons? How many people did Saddam Hussein lock up and torture and kill? How many of his political opponents did he- My idea was to create a platform, and I was in the process of creating, uh, for the time being, my own site. Kind of like Destiny's, except I can stream on it. What was your opinions on Aiden tweeting out there's only two genders? <laughs> The, I don't care. I don't. I don't even know how many people think there are more than two genders. It's such a weird. He's just trying to be edgy. I don't think Aiden has any understanding oh, of any of this shit. <laughs> the fact that he, that he was trying to be edgy, don't you feel like you were being the same way the way you were talking to Muslim people? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay, uh, Jideon, The only reason well, but like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Was because if, he lost if, the debate to a Muslim. If Aiden, group, if Aiden it, tweeted out that two gender shit really? and people started sending yep, him like, that's uh, actually it. He lost the debate about. I did not lose that debate. I crushed that guy, dude. That guy was making clips of me for days later if that and guy would have performed any worse in the debate he would have been treated as an apostate Destiny, okay a sore loser i'm Destiny. not a sore i crushed it, it. Okay. you can watch it on my wait, wait, channel wait, what's, the, what's the video called if it's still on the internet look for destiny uh, debates daniel hikikaru or some shit and it's some fucking daniel, dude did, no, daniel, getting I mean, laps run around, around him daniel had no Destiny. idea daniel didn't even know who andrew was he didn't know he had a brother he didn't know shit he was lost at sea okay and that's what makes it up. He didn't even know some key aspects about the case, and he still smoked. He didn't know any of the aspects about the it's case. It's unbelievable. Your it's idea unbelievable. of him smoking me was him saying Andrew Tate is a Muslim, therefore he's innocent of all charges. No, and you're like, oh no, yeah, of course, no. yes, our Muslim Ladies celebrity brothers. The, 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 the debate is over an hour and a half long, and you see how he tried to just summarize it in one sentence. That shows fear. He's trying to put doubt in your heart and make you not even look for it. So go there look for it. Look for it. Yeah, watch smoked. it. Guess what? That's one of the most. After you got smoked, you started tweeting. No, it wasn't even. Wait, it was like two weeks was after. Wait, it was like a month later. How long ago was it? I debated this guy like months ago on this. A month of insomnia and just pure rage and anger. <laughs> yeah. just, he, he couldn't believe it. He was like, oh my God, this guy's straight up on my mind. Bro, that was one of the did. most brutal debates I've ever had in my life. That guy was completely lost. Yeah, because you got destroyed. He I had no it. idea what he was talking about. He didn't know the facts of any of that case. At the end of the day, I don't feel any different about you, right? You still know how to debate. One loss does not define <laughs> us, right? This is not boxing. You don't need a clear, yeah. perfect record. Okay, quite right? It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> At this point, I'm Quran toast, like, I'm, whatever, I don't care, but mm -hmm. it's okay to lose. But yeah, that's why he did it, Gideon, just so you know. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense, because I was like, damn, this thing is just being Islamophobic for no reason. Well, not for no reasons, because I hate Islam, okay? <laughs> there are reasons. Really? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I'm an atheist, of course! Yeah, because there's a core tenet atheism that atheism. calls you to hate Islam, right? Do what? Like, what, like, something... If anything, if you're an atheist, that should make you even more even killed to not care about stuff like that. Why would I not exactly. care? A lot of the so backward social values that people from Islamic countries have, they like. Even talk to me about you. Like, I'm asking you genuinely. What the Please make that argument, Destiny. Uh, you are about to make a retarded argument. Please, I, no, my argument was that there are a lot of Muslims in Muslim majority countries that draw from like social values that I would dramatically disagree with from their religion. Um, and in general, religions that make claims about like the supernatural and shit are going to be religions that I think make people retarded. I'm not going to agree with these religions. You no, know, I I experienced the supernatural, Destiny. That's fine. I would call you retarded for it too. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to say? No, I'm an atheist. I could literally send you the video. So basically, I went to a psychic to troll her. Okay. Right? And this bitch knew everything. JD, I know you're trolling me, right? I, I'm being, bro. I, literally, anybody like my old subscribers before I privated the video, they've seen it. Like, I'll send you, you can't post the video, I'll send you the link to it. But on everything, like, she knew my brother's middle name, she knew I had three nieces, and that, that wasn't even on the internet. What else did she know? She knew, uh, she knew all the things about my videos, even though she never even like seen my channel before. It was crazy. Have and she, she knew things about the pop smoke case and I didn't even tell her I, I, I made up a story saying that he was somebody else but since I, she had a picture she was able to like see the stuff about him and she she knew that he died in February and she knew that uh, he was shot four times and she knew that there was four people involved in the case and bro like that stuff's real bro you ever heard of cold reading? 
called reading? What yeah. does that mean? It's where if somebody kind of says a bunch of stuff, and then based on how you respond, they make pretty accurate guesses about your life. You should look it up. But how did she guess that I had three nieces? I don't know. She might have said a lot of stuff. She might have looked you up online before you went in. She might have known who your stuff. Oh, she literally. Hey, yes, skull, was, by the way. Can I ask you a question, Gideon? Can I ask you a question? Did she direct? And let me finish all the way. Did she directly say you have three nieces, or did she say, "I can feel that you have three younger uh, people that you feel good about"? And you're like, "Oh, I do have three nieces." Like, did you fill the blank in for her, and then later on you convinced yourself that she knew you had three nieces, or did she directly say, "I know you have okay, three so, nieces"? Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna. Okay, so she said, uh, "Do you have three? Uh, you have three little ones that run around that you don't need to. That you don't necessarily have to take care of." That's what she said. And yeah, and then and then and then let's say you were to say no to that, right? You would dismiss that and not, and you would never bring that up as a like, listen, oh, listen, she was listen, wrong, listen, right? Listen. So and then it would, she would keep doing it until she gets it right, and then you you would only remember those things she got right. right. And then no, you, you know the first thing she said to me. The, you know what? the first thing she said to me after yeah. we did the prayer and everything. She literally what? said, "Because uh, okay, so what, basically, the, let me give you the whole gist. So basically, what happened was I brought a picture of Pop Smokes and I got some random underwear and I put some like chocolate in it." And I said it was his underwear, and I had like this wrapper chain that was mine, and like I let her hold the chain, and I printed out a picture of, uh, of uh, what's his name, Pop Smokes, and she like rubbed the chain. So since I wore the chain, she got my energy, and then the picture of Pop Smokes, she got his energy, and so, um, literally first up, the first thing out the gate, she was like, uh, is is he gay? And I was like, no. And she was like, because I'm hearing something that says homosexual. And the I was fuck like, out of here. <laughs> no, on everything, on everything. That was the first thing she said. That was like, like, bro, like, there's no way you're just guessing. And she, she, she didn't say homosexual. She said homosexual. And like, you she sure she's not a fan or something? That's, that's, that's my merch. That was like my merch. But this is back when I had 200,000 subscribers. So I wasn't even big. And she, uh. Your merch is called homosexual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not sus. He's a homie. Yep. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. And uh, what's it called? What's it called? Um. So that's the first thing she said. She said homosexual. So like, how the fuck did she guess that? And this is how I know she didn't look me up because I was gonna tell her like some BS about the case when I was on the phone with her, and she was like, ah. Uh, she was like, no, 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 no. I don't want to know nothing about anything. She like, so she cut me off before I could even say anything. I wasn't gonna even give her any information. And then while we were doing the reading, she I didn't I didn't tell her my name at all, and she was like, I'm seeing Dijon, Dijon. And she was like, and she was like, for some reason I'm seeing Dijon Mustard. And people call me like, cause my name is Jadon. People like always growing up, they would call me Dijon, even Pokey. She called me Dijon Mustard. Like that's just what people called me. And so like, she was like getting things like on the, like on the head, you feel me? So it wasn't like just broad things. She even got stuff about my filmer and he was just filming. Like she said his aunt's name. Uh, she said my brother's middle name. Uh, she was, bro, she was guessing so much stuff. Okay, what did you ask her about the future? I didn't you ask her, bro. I didn't. Now, I didn't right? fucking go there for the future. I was trying to troll her to make a video. And you freaked she, out. You got you freaked out, and she started guessing all that shit. Then she knew oh. this much, and you didn't try to get like details. I'm not gonna lie. Here? She did tell me when it ended. She said, "You're gonna be huge." I'm I'm seeing something in the future. She said, "You're gonna be huge." She said, "You're gonna be a." Some, uh, she was like, uh, "He's telling me that you're gonna be a star." She did say that. Mm. Wow. But like, I know you guys are probably like, oh, she probably looked you up and everything like that. Like there was things where it's like- there is Well, here's the question. The if you're being serious, aren't you Christian? Yeah, so that's why I privated the video, cause, but- Well, how do you I reconcile really that with your it, Christian belief? Cause I'm pretty sure God doesn't allow for shit like that, no? Yeah, he yep. doesn't. But that's the yep. thing. That's that's the whole reason why I did it. Cause I was like, oh, this is some bullshit, you know? Like the, the joke of the video was supposed to be like, oh, she's getting all this shit wrong. But I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, you, how'd you know? Like da, da 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 Like when she said, "Is he gay?" I was like, "Damn, she's already starting off on the." But then, like, she said, "Homosexual," and me and my filmer just fucking looked at each other. We were like, "What the?" F but uh, so, did she strengthen your faith now, or did she make it weaker? No, definitely. I mean, I, I I didn't need that to strengthen my faith, but like, it just made me start thinking. It's like, damn, like there really are like, like they're they're dead as these demonic forces out here that like they could talk to people and stuff like that. Like, you know, like these demonic possessions and stuff are real. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. no one ever believes, yeah. no one ever believes me until I show them the video. And then they see the video and they're like, what everybody even, everybody that watches the video, they get such an eerie feeling from it. Listen, these people, these atheists in the call that don't believe in the supernatural, if you were to ask them where we came from, 
What would you say, oh Destiny? God. Where did we yeah, come from as humans? No, we're absolutely gonna do this because you're trying to act like science is not at least in somewhat based in mysticism. So tell me, where where do we come from as humans? The same place where you're gonna end up at the Big Bang, okay? Oh, so where did the Big Bang come from? <laughs> I don't know. Good question, dude. Cherry, you need a camera. You're saying you're, you're saying you're saying a universe that's 94 billion light years across uh -huh. right yeah. and still ever expanding came from a point smaller than an atom right you say that that is not mystic like based in mysticism in any way you're saying that's completely normal that makes sense dude i don't want to run down these bullshit aquinas arguments with you yeah okay? because no 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 you're trying right now to shit on people of faith by saying they're illogical but you need to realize your science itself is based on pure you're belief. literally playing a god of the gaps argument you're saying since i can't explain literally the most complicated question in the universe i need to buy into one of what twenty thousand different bullshit religions not that have existed through not, all of mankind that's exactly what you're saying you have zero evidence zero proof zero idea of how the universe started all you're gonna say oh well allah said it because some loser that Olds, like came out and written it down in a book and you're gonna tell me that you've got the more logical position that's such a stupid argument if you're seriously putting this out you're retarded if you don't have troll points an a plus you trolled me okay steve are you done swaying out yeah all right make sure you take the trt you've been like yeah, i'm good but check this out right yeah tell but me. check this out real quick right you're telling me in a universe because you you recognize that our universe is highly dependent right no like no that's not true that's fallacious just because the universe is a certain way doesn't mean it could only be this way conceivably it could have been a million other ways you don't know that yeah I, it is the way that oh it is now God. but hey, no, 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 now who's playing now who's playing the gaps argument dipshit it is the way that it is right now don't argue what it could have been argue what it is right well, no now. because you're trying to say you're, you're pretending dependent? like the way that it is now is the only way that it ever could have been that's not true the universe could have been a million different ways you're trying to say oh well since it is the way that it is right now it must have been fucking designed you don't know that we could have been fucking seven arm fucking and when you change, and when you change all of those oh, no, Measurements, it doesn't it doesn't allow you're, for you're, you're, wait, so you're light. telling me this universe you're telling me this light. universe that has an intelligent design behind it right? why do you think it has a, an intelligent this? design there's plenty of unintelligent shit in our fucking universe what do you mean think think about literally the basic things how your body functions yeah there's a ton of inefficiencies works. about it look at the eye why do we have a giant <laughs> hole to route all our herbs through why, what do you mean there's tons of things fuck? that don't make sense why in the body the, why the all of our technological advancement and how smart we think we are and all of the inventions that we've made why can't we make something that performs better than us and is sentient itself what do you mean why we've made we tons of things that outperform humans in different matters you mean like holistically or what I what mean, are you gonna say what are you gonna say when we do that are you gonna suddenly become an atheist if we do manage to create I, I, an android I, I, that okay okay and if i had wings and if i had wheels i'd be a Angel with wheels, dipshit. Stop arguing. What if we did that? We can't do that. Is my argument. You don't know that we We've can't do that. What do you mean we can't do that? Okay, then. Okay, show me where it's been done. Show me a single thing. It hasn't thing been done yet. Has but been, I'm pretty sure in 1968 they probably said we couldn't go to the moon, right? Before we figured out the form of the double helix, they probably said we couldn't map the human genome. Before they made the first see, microprocessor, they probably said you couldn't have a computer in your pocket. Like, what do you mean? What do you want me to say? There's a ton of things that people didn't think we couldn't do that we've now done, right? Kings Let's and queens see. don't travel the planet as fast as we do in fucking $5,000 cars. Let, what are you asking? Let, let, Little Steve, little Steve, right now you're arguing from a position of illogic and illogic. What did I just say? It's you're saying illogic. that if something hasn't been done before, therefore it's not possible to do in the future. That is deductively Based. flawed. Not only is your argument Based. unsound, it's not even logically isn't. valid. It you're absolutely literally. Isn't. It absolutely isn't. No, it's not. Out? Are you done swaying out? I'm not swaying Listen, out. I'll why do we have to continue. do that? I don't want to do a religion argument with you. I can run circles with no, you. Bro, not, I've been doing not, these not, arguments it, since I was fucking 17 not, years old, okay? Please. I don't, I don't, don't make me do the, the, so the most boring of practice before we get to it because the most boring the religion arguments listen, oh my god listen, kill me please listen yeah hold up hold up did you fucking say that the universe made itself when we last I don't know if the universe made itself right now that's the current theory but I don't know the answer I'm not purporting to know the answer though you are so you're telling me that we could have a universe and existence that is completely filled with things that are dependent an infinite chain of why are you using this dependent like using some other. dog shit fucking pre-supper argument like this dependent no, no, no. shit the, I'll, I'll tell you why i'm using this because you can't have a universe that is all dependent on something else there needs why? to be a singular point of, why why does it need to be why can't the universe be, why can't why why can't the universe have been an infinitely existing thing you don't know that 
Wait, so right now you're going against all scientific theories and everything that has been posed in thousands of years by all sorts of philosophers and scientists. You're telling me that you finally figured it out and we have an infinite chain of universes and our existence is not we actually don't know about, limited you're, to the past. Do you, do you understand? Do you understand that you trying to use God to, this is literally the God of the gaps. Okay, God has explained 50 million things and guess what? Every single time we've investigated a thing, it's been not God. For We have never, of all the millions of scientific mysteries, never have we discovered that the answer was God. It's always been not God. Why do you think the beginning of the universe would be any different? So you're telling me right now that there aren't any scientific revelations that are in the Holy Quran, for instance. You're saying that discoveries that were made hundreds of years after the Quran came down are all false. When did the Quran, the, when did the, the Quran, when did the first thousand, edition of... Thousand, yeah? 1,400 years ago. 1,400 years ago. How long did it take to make the f iPhone? Why didn't they have some schematics in one of those hadiths? Again, again, you see, you keep arguing that I'm using the God of the Gaps. Did we get any kind of like big mathematical, did we get mathematical no, no. truths from the Quran? What did we get from the Quran that was such a big absolutely. breakthrough? Yeah, tell absolutely. me, please. You know, please, let me send you a link, right? Since no, just tell me, you tell me right no, now. I want to know what big truths, no, no. what big like no, no. cornerstones of physics and philosophy and math and science, what came from the Quran? Let me, let me send it to you right now. Okay. Let me send it to you right now. Why are we? I don't want to do this right now. Why are you making me do this? Well, Train, uh, before up, they yeah, go continue ahead. their debate, what do you think about all the stuff I said about the, the sidekick? Um, <clears throat> we can talk later about it. I'm all of a podcast, and we can just talk like casually. Like, instead of like making it some uh, like negative thing, we can just talk and, you know, back and forth. I, I personally, I personally feel like so. <clears throat> Personally, I want, I want her to be real, or I want this individual to be real, and, and I want it to be a, you know, something that exists. Because I want magic to exist. I want that spiritual magic to exist. But from the sounds of it, I, I believe, like, I believe you got manipulated or duped. Jesus. Really? I, like, wholeheartedly, yes. And I, but the, the problem is I would have to like, I would have to like watch the entire recording with you, like the actual recording, right? Like, because you know, the, the three niece thing, you know, I kind of like asked you if that's how it went. You said that's how it went. So I'm assuming like, so now I have to get to when you said uh, that she called out the name of your recording artist or sorry, your, um, your film, what's his name? The, the guy who holds his camera. Yeah. My film is. Uh -huh. Yeah, your, your your filmer's name or whatever, or, or the aunt, right? Like, did, did she just, like, do the same thing? Like, I sense a Michael that's close to somebody in the room. Like, did she say that? Or did she say, hey, you over there? I forget his aunt's name, but it's not like a regular name, you feel me? It's not like a Michael. Yeah, but but but, but, yeah, but, if you think, oh. but, 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 but if you think about what you're doing to make sense of everything that she said, you are filling in the blanks to how it could have made sense and that so you are wowing yourself she just she wow. said the information you're and you're yourself. because you're piecing it together and wowing yourself right so what i mean by that is when you say wait a second that's a weird random name how could she have gotten that all she did was say a name you attributed the that's a weird name she couldn't have known that you're attributing all the credibilities to her she's not really she's not doing anything to attribute the credibility other than saying a name that you haven't really thought too deeply about to how she could have came to this name nor i don't think you're remembering the exact specifics of how she even came to say the name in the first place right so for example the three nieces thing right the way you presented it it feels like you believe that she just presented that you have three nieces but when i made you reiterate what actually happened you seem to remember, wait a second, she did say, I sense three younger siblings right, in the circle, right? <laughs> once that made, once that was made clear to you, you kind of think about it, like, wait a second. If I would have said no, I would have just dismissed it and she would have kept going until she got one or two things right and all I would have pointed out was what she got right and I wouldn't have pointed out the things she, that she was off about, right? So it's like, I, I feel like when it comes to the psychics, it's, it's a psychological game with ourselves. Where, like, it depends if you want it to be right or not right. I feel like you can, so sure, it could go against your religion and you don't want it to be right and it started out as a troll but maybe somewhere deep down you wanted it to be right you wanted that chaos you wanted that because it feels like you're filling the blanks for her and attributing the credibility that she, that that you you believe she has but you're attributing it for her yourself without realizing I definitely it. Didn't want it i mean like because the whole point of the video was like you know because i've never seen anybody troll a psychic before so i was just yeah. like oh shit, it'll be funny you know 
Like that's the that was the whole point. And then where it got weird was she was when she was saying stuff about the case. I didn't know nothing about his case. But then we, me and my friends, we rewatched the whole thing raw, and like we, I, I would pause and I would really think about like the things that she was saying. And then like it was starting to click what she was talking about because not I didn't get everything at the session. The, I, the, when I started piecing it all together, yeah. when we were back at the crib, and I was like, "That's what, what she meant by that." Or, "Damn, okay, let's look up this thing about the case." And then I look up the things about the case, and it's like, "What the fuck?" Like, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but but that phenomenon in itself, where it didn't it didn't hit you until you came back home and you thought about it, like that phenomenon itself is what I'm talking about, right? Like, it requires a certain level of like being in tune with yourself to realize what you just did in that time you left to sit down like wait that's what she must have meant your mind's looking for anything to make what she said make sense because you have attributed a credibility to her that she knows because she's told you she knows because she's a psychic right your if your mind spent that time from the drive from there to your house figuring out what she could have meant and you finally figured it out right you're looking for that so you're going to make everything make sense right so like if i were to say some shit like i sense something you know someone in this room has an aura of green right in that moment you're like oh, i don't know what you're talking about then you might go home right and some wild shit might come to you where wait a second when i was in second grade i tripped over and i fell into a big puddle of green and from there all of my childhood traumas came out to be right then you'd you'd attribute it to that and you're like wait a second how did he know like i i believe that when you're general and broad with and vague about things you say everyone because of how vast the human experience is and how complex it is you will fill in the blanks for yourself and it'll make her sound like she's completely right does that make sense I feel you. I feel like she, she has to give you full black and white answers on that in that like moment in my opinion yeah that's why like psychics will never do a thing where they're like oh your mother her name is janice and she was born on january 5th 1974 like you'll never ever get an answer like that from a psychic it'll always be like do you have like three to four people that you've had a history with yeah, this is this is what i'm gonna do train um let me can i say this though here's what here's what i believe i believe everything that you went through it was real the the place we disagree in is this okay so by no means i don't want to gaslight and say like what you went through wasn't real i believe it was real right and whatever experience you had i believe was real what i'm explaining is i believe it can be explained through logic if we were able to see all the pieces on the board that's what i genuinely believe wait train you don't believe sense? in the supernatural i want to believe in it every piece of me wants to believe it i keep it in my mind that there's a point zero 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 one percent chance somewhere out in the universe or possibly in a parallel world that it may exist but i understand how highly improbable it is if not impossible mm. like this what's the probability of us being alive you know it's like What's the probability of, like, not even the, the fact that, like, we lived this long, but, like, out of the billions of sperms that are sent our daddy's balls, like, we were the one that made it out. You know what I mean? That, like, I don't know what the, I don't know what the statistics on that is, but it's like, you know, when you really think about it, it's like, damn, like, Loki. Yeah, but it, but yeah, but it, 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 I, like you won the lottery if you if you made. No, but it if out. you but yeah, but if you think about it this way, see, in my opinion, that's ego in self right because think about it any person that would have came out any sperm that would have would won think would, be the sitting, same thing. would think the exact same thing like or hey, think I'm, about it just in the, in the humans that are on the planet right now right like you were lucky enough to be born like in the united states and set at like a pretty decent time like imagine if you were born in the u.s like you know 250 years ago i probably would have sucked shit yeah, yeah but or, your arguments are dependent on imagine if what happened right now didn't happen like it's a cool argument no no that's not it's not dependent on anything it's showing the folly in the argument of saying look at what things are like right now like that's that things could be a, a million different ways just because it happens to be one thing doesn't mean it was chosen there's no there's no logic to support that like look at how unlikely things are right now okay and that doesn't imply anything else you're telling me that your life has no purpose if i were to believe what you just said it means your life has no purpose the reason we developed consciousness and humans came on this planet was completely random and by chance for us to even spawn on planet earth and for earth to be in the goldilocks zone in the perfect area where it's not too hard too cold everything was complete chance first now, of all no 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 want to that perfect, that's chance first for of it all, to not be random first of all that that perfect zone that we're in listen once again this is ego you believe that we happen to be in the perfect zone that we're in 
but no, we are because scientifically, no, we are because exist. we we are we exist because we're in that zone. That zone doesn't exist. We don't ex We don't happen to. We didn't just uh, appear. And we yes, happen the zones to be in the are rare. The, the zones are extremely <laughs> Yeah, rare but if we also. would have been a little closer, a little farther, maybe life would have developed in a different way. It just happened to develop. Exactly. Yeah, so we wouldn't have developed. We'd fucking be dead. Yeah, we'll sir, sure. Well, so what? Yeah, yeah, but so but what? But so what? But what does that prove? Of any other life either. No, no but right now what I mean, you're to saying say, is... But to say that there is no creator and that it is all random is equally as heinous. It's not... Hold on. I can't tell at like the IQ. Oh, God. The actual religious brains is actually so fucking sad. Just because it's unlikely that the universe would have developed in this way Wait, you're coping because you can't deal with reality. That's the well, definition the of being religious. Just say the same. You can't you're deal, deal with, with reality. reality. There's just, like, oh my god, isn't is, they? Aren't things, things really unlikely right now? Yeah, that must mean there's a guy that watches me masturbate. That's what you sound like. Like, yeah, it's, it's incredibly Destiny. rare that our planet gets away that does. But so what? That, that's the proof of anything. Destiny, you've just right now said. Yes, it is completely random that we, a human life developed on planet Earth. Yes, it's completely random. It's not, I didn't say it was random. I didn't say it was. No, hold on. Don't put words in my mouth. I didn't say it was random. The universe you isn't random. You just fucking said it was random. No, I'll walk it back. I said, oh, no, no. no. Do, you want to, do you want to know what I believe or do you want to try to walk back and go for a gotcha? No, no, no. Tell me. Tell okay, me what the you universe mean. is not random. The laws of physics are not random. That's not true. But it, that just because we don't have purpose doesn't mean we were created at random. The universe is so ordered then, in a certain way, but it doesn't mean somebody instil, installed so that you, order. So you could explain it, right? So you could explain it. If it's not random, you could logically explain it to me. So explain it. How the fuck did we as human beings develop on planet Earth? How the fuck was it dinosaurs? Look at the difference. The Look at the difference. Look at the difference of what you're asking me versus what I would ask you. I got a you. knife! Right? Good Whoa. job. Oh, shitty knife. It's a shitty knife. Listen. No, 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 no. Listen, hold on, hold on. Listen. You're trying to tell listen. me. You're, you're trying to tell me. No, no. Oh, you're yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. ask me to invent the entire fucking universe, okay? I can't tell no, you I'm from not. start to finish through 17 different disciplines of science how we are right now. If I could ask you, how did Allah create the fucking universe? How did God create the universe? You wouldn't have a fucking answer from me. You'd go, oh, I don't know. It's mysterious. Quran. You'd have no fucking so answer at all. Read the Quran. Yeah, really? Does it tell yeah, you? Is there, is, is there a detailed step-by-step process for how he fucking made things? See, it's because that's what you wanted. You want you want God to say, okay, here's the blueprint. This is the exact same way I, I built the universe. And you know what? If you want to build a miniature universe in your room, this is how it can happen. You're trying to apply your human logic onto God. That is your problem there right you there. There you go. That so you don't even need logic then. Into. Like you win. Right? No, no, you don't even need logic. No, you win. No, 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 no. You're trying to apply what you believe is God-like onto God. You're saying there is no way God is operating in a way that I do not deem God-like. That, that is the fallacy that you fall into. Cool. And that's not what I'm doing. Okay. That, you don't, you don't, so you don't know but, how you don't know how God made the universe. No, no. I don't know how the universe made the universe. I don't know. I don't know no, the no. answer. No, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. But you're the one who's shitting on religious people, saying I don't believe in mysticism. When you f believe in mysticism. I'm on you because we're we have a different level of confidence in our beginnings. I'm telling you, I don't oh, know. So now it's because I'm more confident Broncos, than you. you yes, yeah, no sh. Of course, Sherlock. If there's a, if there's, that's the problem with you. Why do you have a problem with me believing way more in what I believe versus you believeling in your atheistic view of the world? Let me know so when you're done. And I, no, no, no. Shut the fuck up, Train. Let me know okay. when you're done so I can respond right. without you swinging the. F Let me know when you're done. Go ahead. Okay. If there is, if a tree shakes and somebody says, "I'm not sure what's over there. It could be a monkey or it could be a lion," and someone else goes, "Oh, it's 100% a lion," then you look at that guy and you go, "You're." Retarded, and the guy will go, "Why am I retarded? Uh, you said it could be a monkey or a lion. I'm just saying it's 100% a lion." Of course, the level of confidence that you assert a claim with is going to be used to criticize how confident you are about the claim. If somebody doesn't know and they say they don't know, but they're open to a possibility, versus someone else saying, "I know 100% with no evidence," of course you're going to make fun of the guy sp speaking with more uh, confidence without any evidence of it. No shit. You're done. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let me let me respond to your very disingenuous fucking analogy with another one. If I were to get you a cup of water and I told you I did not pour this cup of water. Matter of fact, I didn't make this cup. I didn't buy this cup. It just fucking appeared in front of me out of nowhere. It just created itself. And you'd look at me and say, yeah, that's completely possible. Even if you're not confident in it. If I were to say no, there is an intelligent design behind this cup being poured, behind this cup being made, and somebody made it. There is an origin from where this cup comes from. Why the fuck then would you look at me as the crazy one versus you who fucking believes that this cup formed in its place without anybody doing anything to it? How the f am I the crazy one? Just because I believe that there's an intelligent designer to the universe and you believe that everything came out of pure coincidence, pure chance, and everything has absolutely no purpose. Just because I believe in my way of life way more than you do yours does not necessitate you'd come at Muslims or come it's at like, It's like a million shitty arguments from like fucking the year 100 for like the existence yeah, of God. Yeah, you can't respond to I it. I literally can't. I can tell arguments. you. Yeah, I can tell you. It's just boring and you're not going to understand it because you're...
So your whole life is built around this shit. You understand that, right? You're ne even if I logically prove whatever, you're never gonna you're never gonna disagree with what I uh, with what you believe so in. Why, obviously, so, right? why do, so, so why so why do those arguments exist? Why do people ever? They're dog shit arguments. I don't know why people still use them. You're using something called the clockmaker analogy, right? If a person puts a watch in a bag and they break it with a hammer and they say, "How many times can I shake this bag for me to create a watch?" and you go, "Oh, well, it seems like that would never happen," and then they go, "Oh my god, well that's what the universe is. How many times could you shake up random particles and make the universe? Therefore, boom, the universe must have been created by somebody, just like a person would have created the clock or the watch that went in the bag." That's the argument, but it's a dog shit argument because it's not a good parallel for the universe because the universe could have been something that always existed. It could have been there since the beginning oh, of time. Maybe yeah. time started from the beginning of the universe. It's not. You're not going to let me finish. You're not, are you going to let me finish? We don't know oh. what happened at the beginning of the universe. I can't give you the answer to that. Just like you can't tell me how God created the universe. The difference is oh, no, I'm no, no, willing no, 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 to be no, no, honest. I'm willing to be honest and say I don't know the answer. But you're sitting here telling me, well, I definitely know the answer, even though you can't no, no, explain no. how it happened. Okay, no, let me let me let me explain it to you. You're not only quote unquote willing to be honest you're willing to go shit on billions of people because you don't believe in anything and you're unsure of your position and you hate that there are people that exist on planet earth that are sure of their position and actually have a faith that they follow and a moral guideline that they adhere to that none of that has issue. anything to that do with i don't know what issue. any of the morals you're or anything no, has to do with mean. anything no, but I'll okay. you, no, no, i'll tell you this no i'll tell you this no oh. i'm just explaining why you're soaring out right oh, okay. if, if you if you believe that a monkey could write the entirety of shakespeare given infinite time yeah that's what you believe right yep. yeah because it, because given enough time Things could set themselves up in a way that we could create this universe that we live in, right? That's what yeah. you believe. If enough time passes, we're going to come into existence again. When we die, enough time could pass that we come back into existence billions, if not trillions or quadrillion Possibly, years Possibly, yeah. That's what, exactly. So you believe these things. And I don't know, know what, if I, I'm... Okay, well, if you yeah, want to argue as a star man, go for it. No, 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 go for it, dude. Go for it, go for it, go for it. No, no, dude, no, 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 not so far. No, just hold on, you believe in it. My position, I, when you ask me if I believe in it, I say it's possible. I don't know where the science is at on those things right now. I'm not going to tell you 100% I know for a fact those are true things. I don't know if that's true or not. You're stating them. I, if that's what science believes right now, I guess I would. But I'm open for those change, things changing in the future. I don't have a religious belief baked into myself that, that requires me, that necessitates me to believe things about reality. Unlike you. Two days ago, you literally bragged that my religion hasn't changed since it first started. Like, that's somehow a positive. It, it absolutely is a positive. If it changed, then I could have no ground to stand on. Yeah. I don't I argue with you if it changed. Is there any I'll, other I'll, is there any other thing in life besides your religious belief where you think it would be good if somebody says, "Oh yeah, I'm never ever going to change this. I'll never change this." Yeah, if, yeah. If you are a person that doesn't kill, right? Don't change it. That's a good thing. Absolutely. No matter what. I believe that's okay. Do you argue against it? No. Again, you're trying to paint this image, right? Your position is, I don't know. That's your position. Your true position is, I have no clue. If the science tells me that we came out of a giraffe's asshole, I'll believe it. Yep. But I hate what you believe in because you take it into your heart 100% and you believe it to be the truth. No, that's not that's true. That's, that's not, wait, that you think that's what I believe? Then what the f do you believe then? If it's not that, what do you I don't believe? have strong beliefs about the beginning of the universe because i don't think we know the answer to it but i don't think it's necessary for me to develop a moral what compass no but that's not the only thing that faith gives you right now your biggest gripe with faith is you don't believe that it logically explains certain things that you want to be explained but that is not the totality of faith itself if you were to look in the quran it's not only a book of fables and stories and what happened in the past no it actually tells you how to live your life righteously now why the fuck would you have a problem with that why would you go out of your way to hate people of faith for having a moral guideline why would you be inflammatory to people just because you don't have anything to base your morals in why it doesn't make any sense you have no solid let me position. know when you oh you're gonna you're just gonna finish it for me why even ask me the fucking question if you're just gonna if you're just gonna answer for me but go ahead yeah sorry go ahead don't go ahead preach my dude go ahead no 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 Oh, my, do I get to actually answer it? Was that an, was that an actual yes. question or was that just a, another opportunity for you to fucking ramble? The reason why no, I don't no, like no, it is because no, when people, when people no. base their ethical positions on fairy tales, it's impossible to move them from those ethical positions. That's why I don't like ethics that come from religion. Enough. Your arguments are not good enough then. It's a you problem. How am I supposed to if argue against God? Here's Thanks. the problem. If you genuinely could show, if you genuinely could show objectively without a shadow of a doubt that this is wrong you're telling me that their cognitive dissonance is so powerful and that their belief that this is the word of god is so strong that they can't see what you deem as logically sound is that what you're telling How me the right fuck now am I, bro you retards kill each other all the time in the middle east what the fuck am i, I can't even so even muslims even muslims don't 
angry. Shut Even shut Muslims shut don't. I can't answer anything. You're just, oh, you're just gonna keep rambling. You're gonna keep rambling. M literally divide. You off, you're gonna keep rambling. You're gonna keep rambling. I don't get to answer a single fucking question. You're oh, asking me. Your question, question was how. Your question is how am I supposed to convince people of <laughs> some shit being true? Even Muslims don't agree on what real Islam is. How the f are I gonna do that? That is false. The core okay. tenets of Islam is agreed upon. If you were to ask any Muslim whether they're Shia, or Sunni, Salafi, Wahhabi, I don't care what they are. If you were to ask them what, what are the core tenets of Islam, a candidly man, they'll tell you anything. They'll tell you the same thing. Every single one of them. The core tenets of Islam are agreed upon. What makes you a Muslim is agreed upon. It's just your lack of knowledge and your lack of understanding when it comes to Islam that paints this negative image. You and can you say it's my lack of understanding idea about oh my god that's your problem do you think that all muslim Listen. countries believe in the same things but have the same social values they for the most part all muslim countries when it comes to the core tenets of islam what do you mean core tenets muslim, when i'm talking about things like gay it. rights right i don't care about the core tenets okay i'm talking about I'm how does it come out at the end of the day yeah, in their social what positions makes, no, that's what makes you a muslim that's your problem that's what makes you a muslim obviously there's some minor disagreements about certain things but that won't take you out of the fold of islam you're trying to act like their differences makes them completely separate i didn't it say it make makes them muslim. completely separate but it makes them that's different different. i said it makes inferring. them different that's enough to want to kill each other over it that's a pretty big fucking and, difference again, an, an, again another disingenuous argument if it was generally as bad as you're trying to make it seem you wouldn't have a nation that is ruled by sunnis and is majority shia like bahrain for instance you wouldn't have nations that are completely separate i don't know if bahrain works peacefully fucking iraq no, no, you, used to be a majority fucking uh what sunni I country ruled by shias or a majority shia country ruled by sunnis and that had a of violence happened? related to it if Fell apart because everybody felt like they were being fucking oppressed. Why did it fall apart? For a variety of reasons. It's because Saddam Hussein was a lunatic. Because fucking. It was because of your filthy, degenerate country and the type of shit that they do once a country does not adhere to what they do. Really? And you don't think the people in that country that were being locked away and murdered and tortured by Saddam Hussein didn't have complaints? Are you going to sit here? Why the fuck is everybody cheering? Why is everybody fucking clapping with a. Him, you dude. Oh, oh, perfect. No, no, thank you for bringing that up. You know the person, the famous person that actually clapped, that took down the statue of Saddam Hussein, I, I approximately five, six years later, was interviewed again by Al Jazeera, and the man was crying, begging for Saddam Hussein back, and he said it was a mistake to allow those Americans in. The most unjustified invasion of a Muslim country or any country, a million civilians killed, and you're trying to pin that A million on, civilians? Oh, we're going to use the fake civilians. numbers now? We're going to oh, use no, the no, fake no, numbers no, no, now? Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. And guess what? One, that was done by your people, yeah? okay. your American people. Oh, sure. The, the How many died in the, in the in Kuwait America, invasion? Right? How many Kurdish people, people were killed with chemical right? weapons? Right? How many people did Saddam right? Hussein lock up and torture and, and kill? How many of his political opponents did he kill when he came as prime minister? I'm telling you right now, Iraq would have been a billion times better with Saddam Hussein than what you guys did to Iraq. Right yeah, maybe now, for it's some people. The ground of ISIS and Qaeda and all sorts of terrorist cells. Not that's anymore. Why, that's what happened with Iraq. <laughs> that's what happened with Iraq. There you go. Okay. So don't talk to me about the reason why Iraq is the way it is. is because of the different uh, opinions between sects. That's disingenuous. That's a garbage, garbage argument. You know you stand on nothing when you say that. You think so Saddam Hussein what? was a good guy? I just want to hear that. You think Saddam Hussein was a good dude? Shout out my... Saddam Hussein, okay, okay, my boy. Gotcha, all right. All right That's the Somalian you speaking. Don't worry, I got it. Absolutely, absolutely, because guess what? I will always side. You know what? Gaddafi uh -huh. was a good guy as well, because I will never side <laughs> with the disgusting, degenerate, nasty, satanic terrorists, which is the United States of America. Gotcha. Okay, your favorite black president, Barack Hussein Obama, uh -huh. by the way, the man who's bombed my country more than any other president, but not only my country. You could add Syria to that. You could add Afghanistan to that. I'm telling you right now, America is literally the nation of terrorists. But you guys feel so comfortable painting the rest of the world as villains. No Look one is talking about the rest of the world. Who are you preaching to right now? Who's talking about the rest of the world right now? about you. Look at you in the Middle East. Oh You're so disabled. Look, Look at him you go. Nation. Look at you go. Look at you guys killing each other. Look at all of you guys hurting each other. Oh because my, you you're like Batman trying to beat Muslim. up the Joker right now. That's what you're doing right now. That's absolutely, you know, your hair is blue, not green. You fuck. <laughs> but your problem is right now, it's what? Uh -huh. I'll tell you what your problem is. Tell me. You're trying to act like Muslims disagree on the core tenets of Islam. And I didn't say they disagree on the core tenets of Islam. You said we can't agree when it I comes said to they Islam. disagree enough to f kill each other. It seems like they have some pretty big disagreements. And, 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 and guess what that is? Yeah, tell me what you're that overblowing, is. You're overblowing. I'm overblowing it? Oh, okay. My yes. bad. Because I, pro I, I promise you, if it was that bad, I wouldn't have been alive by now because I, I was born and raised in the Middle East. Oh, because so you happen to be. There might be some poor other Islam kid that got and you you might have been him but here you are oh i'm sure and you might have been the hillbilly that got by his uncle and has to live with him for the rest of your life but guess what you came out as a blue-haired midget so i guess you won i don't know
I, again, your whole arguments are bent on I could have, I would have, I been have. Like, no, and your arguments are based on this god, not the 4,827, but the, this no, no, one I'm is actually you. the right one that made the whole universe and did all that shit. I can't explain how, but trust me, he did it. Yeah, He's coming back soon, I, I swear I, to God. I, I, the next one's coming, I, I, okay? It was 1,500 years ago, just we just need like 200 more years, and he'll come to fulfill yeah, yeah. all of his bullshit as promises. I promise. Yeah and, your, yeah, and your argument was, I don't know where we're from, but I don't believe in mysticism. I, I, I hate all of these people that believe in, you know, the, the, the supernatural, but guess what? I 100% believe that the universe and everything Can I say that? that's contained believe? within it. Oh my God. Uh, You're like no, a dude no, me, in the field me, swinging bats at scarecrows. Wait, wait, I don't know who wait, the arguing with right can I, now can i continue can i continue yeah, uh, go have i it. got you worried are you shaking do your feet I'm even so touch scared, the ground yeah. when you sit in that chair by the way do your feet even touch the ground but let me finish real quick right where it's what right now what you're arguing is i don't know where we come from i have absolutely no clue my belief is completely based in mysticism and lack of knowledge <laughs> uh -huh. but what i hate is these religious people and their faith and their adherence to their faith and their belief i despise these people i oh, hate them days. because guess what yeah. they have they have something i don't have and you know what that is which you don't have blind faith and adherence to some bullshit book Not that's blind. thousands of years no. old <laughs> i'm so jealous they have the truth on their side oh. and that's what you can't handle yeah, the truth. you can't handle that they, everybody can't handle everybody seems like they have it but they're all faith. so different isn't that weird you how that works can't. everybody thinks they've My, got the truth they're all so different isn't that weird as a, as a, as a Muslim man, to uh -huh. all my Abrahamic faith brothers and sisters, to my Christians and Jews, you will all be welcome in the kingdom of heaven as well. I promise you that, okay? Nice. All of these devices that are being created by all of us is foolish and it's done by atheist demons such as destiny, right? Our differences are not that great. Now, I can vouch for all them other niggas, right? I'm going to keep it G with you right now, okay? I'm not going to talk about them motherfuckers. But when it comes to the Abrahamic faiths, we're good. Right, but you know what? Who's not gonna make it in hell in heaven? Atheist. The blue haired demon in the call right now. Absolutely. How oh, dare you? Like God gave you everything, and you don't want to even acknowledge his existence. Well, he gave me everything, including a G spot in my asshole. So fuck. What am I supposed yep. to believe in? You know. That you don't use. That's the, that's the only. That's the only thing Yikes. you make use of. <laughs> Out of everything that God gave you, you just no, want to use the thing in your ass. He doesn't use it. Oh, he someday I will. Man. Don't worry. I mean, I did say that you know he's bisexual just for you know the True. protection. True. Yo, train wrecks. <laughs> What's up, baby? I got live, bro. I've been a lot, watching a lot of kick. Hey, we gotta get you on here, bro. Obviously, we gotta, you know, uh, get moderation on and you know get some of the bad content gone. But we gotta get you on here, bro. Bro, the only thing is, is like every time I see Aiden post a clip, like that boy literally has to, uh, he has to blur out his chat for the entire video. Yeah, I mean, I've I've made that clear uh, publicly and to him. Like his chat needs. Heavy moderation, like it's. it's Keep in mind, him. that's like that's Aiden's choice. He could have mods, and he could moderate the chat. It's it just him. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, look at Destiny's chat. Go to my chat. Like, if if you like, next time I go live, go to my chat. Like, everything's banned instantly. Like, I don't even. People can't even type type the word night in my chat because of the first three letters of night. I don't even. Wait, K N I. No, no, N I T N I G H T. <laughs> so, like. I, I like it just depends on the streamer of what they want. I think Aiden wants that faster chat as if everyone's, you know, there. So I think it just allows everything to move fast, right? So for that reason he has zero barriers. Like chat chat is just like anywhere else <clears throat> on every platform. It's Damn, up to I the streamer. I didn't even know Destiny was still, live. Uh, I thought you guys were just talking. No, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> is, are people actually still yeah, streaming like porn on there? Or is that was that just a joke? Was that just a troll or I mean, the porn thing, let's be real, like, I'm going to keep it a buck fifty. Yeah, like, we're four months in, right? We're in beta, like, moderation, there's little to none, and we're, you know, building a team around that. Like, Yet, is that against TOS? Yes, it is. Porn's against TOS, okay. nudity's against TOS, right, hate speech is against TOS, like, all these things are the case. Like, people just like to... Make an account, and then somebody says, I'm about making uh, porn. I was, no, I was like, all I right, hopped into a couple Aiden streams, and I saw, like, the first night he was watching the boy in the striped pajamas, and then the second night... He was watching um, The Wolf of Wall Street. Can you watch movies on Shame on Kit? I can't answer that. My, what, what I will say is no, <laughs> but you know, just, I mean, right I now the, I can answer this because I'm not employed by this site. I watched Gordon right Ramsay on the, Twitch. Right? The site's probably flying yeah. under the radar. You're probably safe to do what you want, but I mean, like, it's probably not legal. And if you get DMCA, you're going to have to take it down or Kick will take it down. But like, you're yeah, probably let's put okay it that way. That. There we go. Thank you, Destiny. Like, it's... Right. You can watch the Super Bowl, it's okay, but don't watch Gordon. Well, Ramsey. careful. You don't want to bring that kind of attention. <laughs> uh, also, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, it looks cool. Like, um, there was some kid the other night 
he was just streaming Madden, and I, he looked like he was having a blast. So I donated him like uh, 600 subs. Jesus. And yep. And he got most of it, bro. And he, yeah, he did. He got 95 percent of it. And yeah, bro. Every time you give them any subs, tell them to check the revenue page. They always freak out, bro. We've been conditioned by Twitch to think it's acceptable and appropriate and generous of them to give us 49 percent of our sub revenue. It's wild like it's disgusting like people want to talk about uh capitalistic corruption like shit. Well, i mean well, the I'm not gonna lie. I, th I think the biggest selling point with me for kick is not even like the money but it's more of the fact of like damn if this thing can be the thing that like takes down twitch and stuff like that it's like i could be looked at as an og you know like with youtube it, even though even whenever i hit 10 million subscribers I'm never going to be looked at as like a founder because, you know, I didn't start posting videos until what, 2019. But it's like this is like, oh, shit. OK, I was one of the first streamers to actually migrate over and stuff like that. It's, oh, for uh, sure. Like, and, I, have, and, I have like a lot of good is it, ideas. Isn't it like, started by creators? What? Like kick? It's a good selling point, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah. I yeah, I pitched the idea and uh, uh eddie also had the idea and we kind of it, it like ended up working because like so my idea was to create a platform and i was in the process of creating uh for the time being my own site kind of like destinies except i can stream on it and then we ended up coming together and saying yo like you know i have the vision i have the experience and you know they have the funding and you know as long as it's you know two separate entities and you know it's you know you know there's other investors involved and other things going on and um we can get something done why not so that ended up happening i ended up uh, taking the other projects kind of combining it into one and now we're here so yeah i, I guess like i'm i'm kind of the creator side of things and fortunately for the creators out on the outside you know i'm not one of those i'm more in the middle so i'm going to benefit all sides i'm not one of those fucking pg-13 pussies so um yeah I feel like that kind of helps a little bit too because it's like oh for sure made by creators for creators but yo Gideon real quick just to confirm for you I I will say this I will confirm this it is something that like Eddie and myself we talk about very often like as far as like you saying like you know just having that kind of title or that credibility like we talk about people that like start with us this early like I mean that there is going to be things that you know the people who come early like you know what i mean like you feel me like i i, I don't want to say much but you know we see it that's what i'm trying to say it is it is a conversation that we have all the time like you know and the people that start early that people come with you okay, know what i mean also, like we know I, I need to go eat and gym okay i might be back later oh, you're leaving bro come on i have to do my shit because i need to wake up early today okay i'm sorry